Good morning. Thank you for joining with me. I hope you're having a wonderful week. Happy Friday. My name is Karen. The last time we talked, we were looking in the book of 1 John chapter 2. And just to go over what we spoke about, in verse 5 it says, But whoever keeps his word truly has the love of God perfected in him. By this we know we are in him. So once we know that we are in Christ, it says here in verse 7, which is where I want to pick up, 7 through 11, it reads, Brothers, I am writing no new commandment to you, but an old commandment which you have had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which you have heard from the beginning. Yet a new commandment I am writing to you, which holds true in him and in you. Because the darkness is passing away, and the true light is already shining. Verse 9. Whoever says he is in the light but hates his brother is in darkness even until now. Whoever loves his brother lives in the light, and in him there is no cause for stumbling. But whoever hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. If you have a hard time loving your own brother, loving your own sister, um, family members, anyone, then the love of God is not perfected in you. No, we don't always have it all together here, but there is a genuine love that is being produced in our life when the Holy Spirit is living in us, dwelling in us, and having his way, perfecting us into his very image. Because God so loved the whole world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever should believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And when you accept that gift from God, then you take on his character. He starts changing you. The language you used to speak is no longer there. The anger that you might have been battling with is being diffused. And there's something about loving people, even perfect strangers, that is a gift from God. That is the work that is being done in Christ. So another thing that we look at to know whether or not this person is of God or of not is whether they have love for one another. Jesus himself said, people will know that you are my disciples by the love that you have for each other. So let this work be done in your life. Allow the Holy Spirit to change your heart. It might not happen overnight, or it might will. It just depends on whatever God is doing in your heart, how he's healing you, making you whole. But that is another sign to know whether someone is of God or is not, whether you are walking in that love and it being perfected in your life. So I pray that you have a blessed week. I will see you again here next week. Thank you. God bless.